Imagine a world where a single machine could change the course of history. What if I told you that a tank designed decades ago not only survived the test of time, but shaped the battlefield in ways never seen before? In this video, we're diving into the story of a true legend in military history, the British Chieftain Main Battle Tank, a vehicle so powerful, so ahead of its time, that it became the backbone of many armies for years. You'll be amazed at how this tank became a symbol of strength, resilience, and innovation. Stay with us as we uncover its incredible journey, its design secrets, and the role it played in some of the most pivotal conflicts of the 20th century. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll understand why this tank is more than just a piece of military hardware. It's a piece of history that has left an indelible mark on warfare. The story of the Chieftain Main Battle Tank begins in a post-World War II world. The British, having already seen the success of their Centurion tank, realized that the battlefield of the future would need a new kind of machine. As the Cold War tensions began to rise, the demand for stronger, more heavily armored tanks grew. The Chieftain, designed by Leland, was a response to this demand a tank that could withstand the evolving threats from Soviet weaponry. It wasn't just about power. It was about staying ahead in a rapidly changing world. With its L11 120mm rifled main gun, the Chieftain was built to dominate the battlefield. And dominate it did. What made the Chieftain stand out? First, its firepower was unmatched. The L11 120mm main gun was a force to be reckoned with, capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, including the devastating armor-piercing fin-stabilized, discarding Sabo rounds. This allowed the Chieftain to effectively engage both armored targets and softer ones with precision. Imagine being a crewman, knowing that you had the best weapon on the battlefield at your disposal. That confidence would have been unmatched. But it wasn't just the gun that made the Chieftain a masterpiece. Its design was revolutionary. Unlike previous British tanks, which valued speed and mobility, the Chieftain focused on protection and firepower. Its heavily sloped armor gave it excellent protection from enemy fire, while its low profile made it harder to target. Picture this. You're advancing in a battlefield with enemy fire all around. Yet inside the Chieftain, you felt almost invincible knowing that your armor could withstand even the heaviest hits. The Chieftain's turret was another marvel of design. The cast turret was heavily sloped, giving it both protection and a sleek appearance. The crew inside were well positioned, with the commander, gunner, and loader working in harmony to operate the main gun. Every element of the Chieftain's design was carefully thought out, ensuring that it was not only powerful, but also functional. The driver, seated in the hull, operated the vehicle in a near-horizontal reclined position, adding to the tank's low profile and helping it blend into its surroundings on the battlefield. Imagine the tense moments of a tank battle. You, as the gunner, have your sights set on an enemy tank in the distance. Your commander gives the order to fire, and with the precision of the chieftain's fire control system, you hit your target dead on. The enemy tank is disabled, and you move on to the next one. The feeling of power and control that the Chieftain gave its crew was unparalleled, and it was this power that made it a feared adversary in any conflict. One of the Chieftain's most significant features was its nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC protection system. In a world where the threat of nuclear war loomed large, having a tank that could protect its crew from such dangers was crucial. The Chieftain's crew could operate in contaminated environments, safe from the deadly effects of radiation or chemical weapons. This feature alone made the Chieftain a tank that could fight in any scenario, no matter how hostile. Now let's take a step back and think about the broader picture. The Chieftain wasn't just a tank. It was a symbol of the Cold War era, a time when nations were building up their arsenals, preparing for a conflict that, thankfully, never came. But the Chieftain was ready. It stood as a deterrent, a reminder that the British Army was prepared to face any threat that came its way. It was more than just a machine, it was a message of strength. The Chieftain served in various conflicts across the globe, 
proving its worth in different terrains and conditions. One notable example was its use in the Iran-Iraq War. The Iranians, having purchased hundreds of chieftains before the Islamic Revolution, relied heavily on them during the conflict. These tanks faced off against Soviet-made T-72s, and while the T-72 was a formidable opponent, the chieftain held its ground, demonstrating the durability and firepower that had made it famous. Picture the harsh desert landscape of the Middle East, where temperatures soar and the terrain is unforgiving. In these conditions, the chieftain continued to perform, showing that it wasn't just built for the rolling hills of Europe, but could handle the extreme heat and dust of desert warfare. This versatility was another reason why the chieftain became so beloved by the armies that used it. But like all great machines, the chieftain wasn't without its challenges. Its engine, the Leland L60, was a multi-fuel compression ignition engine that, while innovative, didn't always perform as expected. It struggled to reach the desired output, and in some cases, it became a point of frustration for the crews. However, even with these limitations, the chieftain continued to prove its worth on the battlefield. As the years went by, the chieftain saw several upgrades. The MK-10 variant, for example, introduced the Still Brew Crew Protection Package, which significantly enhanced the tank's survivability. The addition of the Thermal Observation and Gunnery System, TOGS, in later models improved its night fighting capabilities, allowing the Chieftain to operate effectively in low-light conditions, a crucial advantage in modern warfare. Despite its impressive track record, the Chieftain's time eventually came to an end. By the 1990s, it was clear that a new generation of tanks would be needed to face the challenges of the future. The British Army began phasing out the Chieftain, replacing it with the Challenger 1 and, later, the Challenger 2. But even as it left frontline service, the legacy of the Chieftain lived on. What's fascinating is that the Chieftain didn't just fade into history. Many of its variants, including armored recovery vehicles, bridge layers, and engineering tanks, continued to serve well into the 21st century. These specialized vehicles, built on the Chieftain's chassis, proved that its design was not only effective but adaptable, a true testament to its brilliance. The Chieftain's impact wasn't limited to the battlefield either. It influenced tank design around the world, with many countries adopting similar concepts in their own armored vehicles. The Chieftain set a new standard for what a main battle tank could be, and its innovations can still be seen in modern tanks today. Now, if you think about it, the Chieftain's story is a powerful reminder that even in times of peace, preparation is essential. The tank was born out of the need for a strong defense in an uncertain world. And while it may not have seen the full-scale conflict it was designed for, it stood ready, always prepared, always formidable. In many ways, the Chieftain was more than just a tank. It was a guardian, a symbol of security during a time when the world was on edge. Its presence alone was enough to deter potential threats and that speaks volumes about its power and influence. As we wrap up this incredible journey into the history of the Chieftain, it's clear that this tank was more than just metal and machinery. It was a symbol of resilience, innovation, and strength, a true masterpiece of engineering. And while the world of warfare continues to evolve, the legacy of the Chieftain will never be forgotten. So, what's next for tanks like the Chieftain? While it may no longer serve an active duty, its lessons live on in the designs of modern tanks like the Challenger II. The world may change, but the principles that made the Chieftain great, protection, firepower, and innovation, will always remain at the heart of military technology. Thank you for watching our video on the legendary Chieftain main battle tank. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible piece of military history, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the world of warfare. Don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think was the most impressive feature of the Chieftain? We'd love to hear your opinions. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and we'll see you in the next video.